Okay, here's a video on the many possibilities of Linux. There was an old operating system some years back called Migo in 2010. Well, before it, it was called Mobilin in 2009. So in 2010, they changed it to Migo. Let me give you a little, a little look at it real quick. Here's some images of what I'm talking about. Most people that are Microsoft or Apple users not aware that there's a whole other different world besides Apple and Microsoft out there. Well, this type of operating system was used on netbooks, laptops, PDAs, tablets and stuff. Then long came along Android. Most people don't realize you are using a a Linux system, a Unix system on your phone. Now this is what it looked like on a tablet and if I was to go to a picture you could see my dock over here, docky I actually made recreated the act exact the exact buttons and everything down to a T. Slightly different but that's okay. Now if you wanted to go to the site and read about it, here it is. Netbooks, handsets, and vehicles, smart TV, media phones. You can download the image files and try them out yourself in virtual emulations if you wanted. Speaking of virtual emulation, here's an early version of it that worked on a desktop. Now, yes, this is you actually seen Windows 98 in here in my virtual box. Now I'm just going to boot up Navit. I mean not Navit. Navit was a part of a prototype in this version of Migo. It was a software used for GPS. It was the first prototype of a GPS. So I'm going to switch to full screen mode so it's like being in the exact operating system itself. It's going to boot up Bada bing, bada boom. And here we go. Here's the desktop mode. Here, this is the X out. This is your home. Whenever you hit a home, you can slide up and down. I'm using the roller on my mouse. Here's your tools. These are the things. It has Bluetooth capability. And you can backspace. Here's the navigation. You had Finch from Mozilla Firefox. We go. Hey, hey, come back here. Here's Navit. Give you a quick view of it. This looks like some part of Long Island. This is a map. You can download out of map formats and install it into here. And but it's an old experimental system. And speaking of that, I'm going to X out of here for now. X out of the system. How I'm going to do that, I'll go out of view. And then I'll go over here. I'll forcefully shut it down real quick so I can go to the next system. Even running Windows 8 in here. Now here's the, here's the kicker. This is the actual newest system, Windows 8, that is out. Running in virtual emulation. Oh, yes, it's running. I just have the screen narrow right now. But I will unnarrow it in a minute or two. I usually do that so that way I don't put too much stress on the video card, on the resources. So I'll let it boot up whenever it decides it wants to boot up. If not, if it's going to give me issues and take a thousand years, I'll just close it. But I actually have Windows 8 running in here. Now it's being a jack office or because, like I said, I'm using a lot of resources 
on the video card. Sometimes it boots up, sometimes it don't. Unfortunately, you know, life sucks. But I do have Windows 8 Pro in here. I even have Windows 98. I even have Android in here. I even have extension extend multi boot six operating systems within one image file that fits on on a 700 megabyte CD six operating systems small miniature Unix systems and virtual emulation anywho this is why Windows 8 won't boot up quite right away because I'm using a lot of resources here we go I can do a couple things. I gotta warn you, when I go into my fake Windows 8 apps, I made it not only just look like Mego, this is Zorin 6.2 x86 64-bit, the latest version of Zorin from Destro Watch. But now I have some weird pictures in here that are random off the internet. Okay, so close, so far so good. Destro Watch, this tells you exactly the latest systems that are coming out I have a tracker and it tells you everything about the, whatever system you're looking for now here's my pictures I go to pictures I open up two by accident okay I was doing something the other day this is just a schematic okay here's here's a project that I was working on a merge of Windows 8 and Mego from Linux together and to prove that theory okay see how the ten, how the pages float away from the board I mean the the spear but this is these are fake apps like the mimic windows 8 and i can even you know disable them at a moment's notice if i wanted to if i go over here there you go it's a little batty at time this is a software called screenlet it's being a jack office or Okay, there we go. Okay, but it was too tight together. That's why. It... Now, Zorin operating system from Linux is to mimic a Windows operating system, like Windows XP or Windows 7. But I manipulated it so so far. There's so many things to it. I have software beyond software. I just don't have enough to fit into a 10 minute video to show you so I have music videos I I can even download right off of YouTube with a software called download helper I have even have the Debian pirate pack for from the pirate Linux installed on here it has you know it has Tor for private you know for private web browsing so people don't give you advertisements or trackers can't track you. You can actually change your IP address, mask your IP address to somewhere, Sydney, Australia, on the other side of the world. And if I was to go like this, U B U N T U. Okay. I have numerous things here. Ubuntu tweaks. I could say I wouldn't fit in a 10 minute video that easily. So, without further ado, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Linux and Windows 8 merger from old 2010 operating system, Mego.